Hey guys, and welcome back to another Zed Shelter episode. Today, we're going to be going out to the Lush Woods, which is two zombie skull woods. Um, and we're just going to be uh, showing the most efficient way, I think, um, it is to get um, the maple wood items as far as the uh, the rods and the, the planks. So effectively, what you want to do here is, is you, you want to go and, and open up all the chests, right? Because that's where you're going to get it. But yes, you're going to have to kill some zombies and some different things along the way. So you just kind of get them out of the way as you go. I usually bring machetes. Um, and you guys got to find where the chests are at. Now, there is a floater here. I typically do not kill the floater. I will run around the outside, get all the chests, kill all the zombies around the perimeter, and then effectively I would chase the um, the floater around. So, we got one of the maple trees here, which is one of the things that you'll cut down. And I will save you from watching me cut that down, but here's one of the chests that you gotta find to open. Once you open it up, see we got one maple rod. That essentially is the equivalent of uh, of four maple logs, right? Which is essentially cutting down two maple trees, which is usually what there is at the the higher ranked woods. It'll be one or two, or sorry, two or three maple trees there. So right there, we've already almost uh, got the equivalent of what you would get there, and then it's already finished, so you don't have to worry about actually completing the. Um, the function or the, the activity of, of creating the, the rods or the planks yourself. Not to mention, you do get half decent experience from these guys. Let's just make sure there's nothing down here. Okay. Now, is there just going to be up here? Usually there's three chests. Usually. Doesn't mean there always is. Sometimes there's only two. But usually there's three, so I see the other one there. I just hope that this one's not the floater one. Which it is not, which is good, so that means there are three chests here for us to open. I really don't know who, so this one only had a log in it, so it was not great. Usually they'll have planks in them as well. Okay, let's pull back here, Brutus, for a second. Feed you some bones here. Get you all happy. And I'll have one of my med my bandages. Okay, so now that we got that, the only things left, and I think I'm gonna actually cut down the maple tree now, because it's gonna be significantly harder once the floater is chasing us. But essentially what I do is uh, I'm just gonna come and cut this down, but you want to deactivate um, your your dog, mostly because he's gonna run it stupidly against the the floater, and he's not gonna stand a chance. He's gonna get killed right away. So usually I just turn him off, and we are going to go and corral all the zombies, have them chase us, and then we'll run back up to grab uh, that final chest there. These always take forever to chop down with your stone axes and things. You even have to make another one. Oh, and I don't have an any. Okay. Well, let's just go and collect some resources here quickly so I can actually make another axe and we can finish chopping down that tree. There's some more little stones. Rocks. There we go. This will work perfectly fine. Alright, now we can make the stone axe we need go finish chopping down the maple tree. Okay, so now is when we go and we corral all these zombies. I mean, we can kill batters and things, but essentially we just want to have all these guys start chasing us. And we're going to essentially run down to the bottom corner over here because they're all going to be following us and we want to try and get as much space as we can between the zombies and the chest okay. 
and we can try to kill some if we want, but we just have to be careful because they do have um, those different attacks there that uh, they're not too friendly. Especially the floater. His splooge is pretty nasty stuff. Okay. Once you got these guys down here, it's definitely plenty enough time. You can just run over here, which we're probably going to have to kill that engineer now because the engineer does run pretty quickly. This is why you kind of run around and you try and kill as many of the other zombies as you possibly can. Because this is going to eat into their time a little bit, so I think we'll be fine. And we'll take everything here. Take all. And then that is essentially all of the maple items that you're going to get um, here. So usually I get a couple rods and a couple planks. Um, so it wasn't as kind to me this time as it normally is. Um, but this is essentially what, what I've been doing to try and obtain some more maple products. Just because they're, you need them to make all the different guns and everything. Which is what I need to do. But just for that one run we got three maple logs. And we got two maple rods. Which that two would be essentially equivalent to eight maple logs. So we essentially picked up eleven um, maple wood there. Now, uh, one of the things I'm gonna see if it works, I'm not sure if it will, if it will reset right away when we go back into it. I don't believe it does, I think we have to leave before it resets, but I'm just gonna check instead, because you could, you could try, if it does reset right away, we'll have a quick look here. Nope, it does not. You probably have to leave and come back, so... Okay, which makes sense, but yeah, otherwise you could have probably just stayed here and just farmed it like crazy. So we still got these nasty guys chasing us, but there is nothing else left here for us. You can go around and, and grab all the other resources as well before you uh, activate the floater. At least that's what I would suggest, or just kill the floater, however you want to do it. You can always kill it too if you want, but essentially we got 11 effectively 11 maple wood out of that which eight of them have already been turned into the rods which you'll need later to create different weapons so this is where I typically go you can also get the maple wood come over here to the dark woods um, although what you could potentially get doesn't show the maple wood from the chest and then chopping down the trees the most I've gotten is six maple logs so that's why I find this to be effectively the most efficient way because you'll get more bang for your buck here and there's you don't have a butcher and a floater to deal with um, so that's where I find it's better now if you have tons of weapons and you're just completely stacked if you go over here kill everything and grab everything probably you're gonna get more resources but just for quickly running and grabbing and going this is probably the best so that's uh, that's what I would say is the most efficient way to get maple wood if you guys need it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.